Hello, and welcome to the evil lair, where you learn how to pencils and sometimes a build, and uh, defeat the good guys with lots of evils and arrows. Welcome Reaper Mini fans! Today we have a super miniature. This has just been released retail. It's the um, Frost Giant Ranger and it's uh, available on the web store. Um, absolutely super high detail. Uh, beautiful. This is the Bones Black uh, miniature. Um, today I'll be mounting this miniature onto a 75mm base boss base. Um, as you can see we've got a little stag on the back there. Fantastic. I'll be going for lots of browns today, um, skin will be light blue of course as it's a frost giant, uh, but um, I'm going to change the base and use a round one, so what I'll do is I'll come back once I've primed the miniature and added my uh, rocks to the base and then I'll quickly go through how to paint this up in some nice browns. So I've got my primer coat on, a nice brown, and what I've got here is I have Saddle Brown by MSP, Dragon Red by MSP, Field Grey by MSP, and Olive by MSP. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dry brush all the colours on with a, quite a thick coat, and this will um, give all the colours I need. Now, there's no point in spending hours detailing all this miniature. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blend in all these colours all over this miniature, and when I add the ink wash later, you'll see that it works and it all comes together so you don't need to spend hours and hours doing all the fine detail because what will happen is after you've added that ink wash later you can add the little bits of details here and there and it will work just fine so what I'm going to do now is go straight into the brown and we're going to go over the miniature in certain areas we just start to highlight the different areas of the miniature with our colours What I'm going to do is go into that dragon red and start working on that cloak. It's super fast and super easy, but what you'll find is once I've finished this, you'll see it all comes together and it works very well. Just mixing the colours together, mixing the browns with the reds, and we're just going into all the little places, nice and simple. Like so. I'm going to add a little bit of that green to that red, mixing it in with my little bit of tissue there, and we're just going to go over certain areas, picking out a little bit more colour. back into that red and I'm adding a little bit of the bit of olive to that red just for the stag's fur just on the top there boom boom stag's done and we're going back into the brown add a bit of the olive green mix that in on your tissue and we'll go over those boots fantastic super easy and just here and here. And over those boots. And I think we'll go over the quiver down there. I'm going to add a little bit more of the brown to that. There we go. And then back into the red, mixing it in with the brown just for a bit of the fur effects. And just there and there. Absolutely beautiful. See, that's all my base colours done. Simple as that. So what I do now is I'll wait for that to dry. Then I'll add that brown ink wash to all the areas. And then I'll go over with those colours I just used. And it's as simple as that. You get a beautiful effect. Well, I'll come back once this is dried and we'll go for the next stage. While the paint is still drying, what I'm going to do is I've got some stone grey 
from MSP and I'm going to quickly dry brush that onto the base and that will give the stones a nice effect and um, we're going for a cold base I'll be adding um, patches of snow to this later on but uh, just highlighting the stones on the base with the stone grey Simple as that. That's all we need to do for the base for now. There we are. The whole base will be given an ink wash as well as this miniature once it's dry. Okay, so the ink wash is all dry now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add all the details to the miniature. I'm going to add in the face details and then I'm going to come back and then we can finish off the base with the snow. Okay, coming up to the last parts of the miniature now. For the uh, face, I've used Frosty Blue and Frost Blue. Um, I've given the leather as a very light dry brush with some bleached bone. I've given the hair um, a coat of uh, Dragon White. And I've gone over the Dragon White with a grey ink wash. So all I need to do now is I've got to do the little chains around her neck and add the snow to the base. Uh, clean off the rim of the base and give that a paint and I'll come back and I'll show you the finished miniature So here is the finished frost giant ranger Absolutely beautiful miniature 100% recommend this for your games as you can see I've added a nice little bit of a snow base to set off the scene um, I've got lots of videos on how to make snow and use snow in your miniatures so just check out my back cat catalogue of videos so there we are if you enjoy what I'm doing then please hit that sub button if you want to support the channel then please become my patron all patrons are added to the end credits of all my videos so until next time